Hey, welcome back to Divine Honesty. If you're new here, please like, share, and subscribe. Today, I'm going to be doing one of the most beautiful, the most physical, attractive, the most creative and imaginative zodiac signs, and that is the Pisces. Oh my God, I love Pisces. If you have a Pisces in your life, you are blessed. Okay, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Pisces have a, a way to make you feel like you're the most special person in the world. And that is just, mm, that's just a blessing. But today we're going to go ahead and get into the zodiac of the Pisces, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, if this doesn't resonate, please just take what it does. Hopefully, I capture some energy of every Pisces that's watching this video. Usually, y'all resonate a lot with my Pisces videos. So, shout out to my Pisces. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to give an overall energy for y'all. And then we're going to go ahead and get into the tarot reading, okay? Oh, I love Pisces. And another thing, you are ruled by the 12th house. Okay, and the 12th house represents imagination, dreams, spirituality. And Albert Einstein once said that geniuses or intelligence is not based upon knowledge, but imagination. So in that sense, Pisces is one of the most intelligent signs as well. Very empathic and intuitive. Okay, psychics. Most psychics are from Pisces constellation so let's go ahead and what is the energy surrounding our pisces our empathetic mothers our psychics our dreamers okay nobody can tell a story like a fucking pisces okay nobody can dress like a fucking pisces nobody gonna have your back like a pisces and another thing what i tell a lot of pisces is you know don't let people determine who you are by how they treat you you know um, a lot of times Pisces have the ability being empathetic to carry other people's emotions. And, you know, that's why it makes y'all one of the most supportive people in people's life. But also you deal with a lot of other people's trauma. So try to just be, care, you know, caring to yourself and make sure you do a lot of self-love. Okay. And do a lot of things for yourself. Let's go ahead and get this energy Look, the priestess, like I said, a lot of y'all are already psychics, okay? A lot of y'all are very empathetic, probably could be tarot readers, the love astrology, already in that type of energy, the energy of unknown and mysticism and things and to things in that nature. It says, how are you be how are you being called to step up and lead? What things in your life that you can lead other people? Okay, because you have a connection to the spiritual realm quicker than anyone else. I mean, you're on, you pass 5G when it comes to the spiritual realm. So how can you help others, okay? And sometimes others can be the lower self of you, okay? So let's, that's something to think about. Let's go ahead and get into this reading, okay? What is the energy surrounding our Pisces, our true ones, our loved ones? I mean, like I said before, if you have a Pisces in your life, you are fucking blessed, honey. You are blessed. Let's see. Nine of Wands is whose energy is this? Okay, he's down, tired. Tired to have to pick up the damn pieces. But look at him. He's a warrior, though. You're always fight. You're a fighter, Pisces. You always make it through. But what is this energy? Who is these people behind him? Let's get some more energy. Okay. And I'm also seeing <clears throat> fire signs in here. Okay. Let's see. Who is this? Why is this energy down? What is making them overwhelmed? Ooh, this came out. The King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. The Kings of Cups is somebody with love. So this is a love relationship. This is a partner or an ex. Okay, this is a partner or an ex. Wow, are you tired of... Damn, someone is using you for your... Not for your money, for some money... But for some, just your spiritual gifts, you got to know that you are one of the most powerful zodiacs of the constellations or of the zodiacs, okay? Because you have that empathetic type of nature. That's a healing nature that's going to attract people. You're like a light bulb and all these motherfuckers that got issues are like moths and bug lights, 
okay? So you have to be, and I'm seeing that's what it is, you know? Your love is causing you to be overwhelmed. Your love for this person. Look, it's telling you right here, Six of Swords moving on. Look at that big-ass moon energy. Moon represents your emotions, how you respond to things, how you interact with things. And look, she's selling her ass away. Look at the frog moving on, leaping forward. Oh, for some of you, you're sad that this person left you or you happen to move um you happen to move from the situation. You happen to let this person go. And a lot of you, you know, you put so much energy, so much things into this relationship or this person. And now it's like, damn, I gave you this big love. You know, Saturn kind of restricts love because now you're having to pull back. And now you're finally understanding that this person got you to the emotional side of yourself in order to realize they're not healthy for you. Okay, so in a way, things happen for a reason, Pisces. Everything happens for a reason, but that doesn't determine who you are. Because like I said, anybody that has a Pisces in their life, it's a blessing. Because you guys can make people feel like they're the most special people in the world. And not a lot of people give a fuck about people that enough to do that. And you guys do. And then look, Eight of, um, eight of Cups, regret that moon again. A lot of emotions, there can be some secrets. So you feel like this person held secrets. Sometimes you now coming out of this fantasy that, oh, okay, this is the reality of the nature. Okay, this is the reality of the nature. Look, look at old platypus ass, you know. Old platypus ass right here, just fucking shit up, knocking cups over. You know, you're still trying to deal with the shit that they knocked over, that they let go. Wow. Because look, now here's on shore. Look, you, you moved over, you moved um, on sea, you let go. For some of you, you actually moved out or they moved out or they're states away, okay? And now you're on shore, it's dealing with the bullshit. For some of you, most of you are dealing with the aftermath of this breakup. This can even be a long time ex or ex-husband, ex-wife type of you know, relationship you had, that you had loved, honey. Mm. Look back 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 okay two three of wands now i'm planning to move up to move on for some of you this person trying to come back in your life mm. can you trust this person are you seeing this person move on on social media hmm, let's see look big i don't have to talk to you ever ever fucking again type of energy look at this energy the king of swords i don't ever have to talk to your ass again and it's crazy because the King of Swords is right above the King of Cups, okay? So for some of you, you was, I mean, you give your world to this person and now you can give a fuck. They both have Saturn in the background, restrictive energy, disciplined energy. For some of you, it's taking you a lot not to either cut these people out or try to engage with them. And for some, they are definitely coming back in your life and a lot of you are planning on how you're going to approach them or if you're going to even approach them. You're going to keep their ass on lead. Look, some of you have children with them. Six of cups. Look at the feline in the back. The cat gives me the energy of uh, private, okay? So you could be talking to this person in private or this person is having private conversations about you. This person can also be very immature. You guys have children with this person. Let's see. Hmm. And we're going to get a running back with this energy. And another thing for my empathetic, um, sensual, spiritual teachers and psychics, the Pisces. When you feel these emotions, it's because you, you have a Wi-Fi, like I said, to the spiritual world more than any other zodiac, more than any other person. That's why you're very imaginative, creative, okay? Um, once you start having certain feelings, take a step back. Put those feelings on pause because you don't want to get lost into the emotions because you have the ability to feel all of it. So once you start getting into that emotion, take a step back. Understand what's the intentions behind you feeling it, okay? And that will help you too. Let's go ahead and get some more information. Look, could be dealing with a Scorpio, death, transformation, Oh, did somebody do the... Mm, so I'm seeing y'all don't really have that fun type of energy around each other. You guys did. But now I'm seeing with the depth energy right beside the Six of Cups, 
that y'all don't really have that type of energy that y'all once had with each other. It's death or the whole relationship has transformed. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get some more energy. Okay, why is the three of wands here? Look, seven of the seven of wands. So a lot of y'all defended this person and defended the relationship. And for some of you, you feel stupid that you actually defend this person. You actually stood in there when people was coming at you with certain things about this person. You stood up. You stood up for this motherfucker. Mm. You did. But they are definitely having private conversations about you. They definitely think about you, especially at night. Especially at night. Look, then you got this page of cups energy. So for some of them, they want to come back. They want to um, give you an apology. They want to give you that cup of love <laughs> because they know who they had now. They're realizing who they had. Oh, because look what happened. The three of swords. They know. This person know they fucked up. Look, they just stabbed you all in your fucking heart. They know. And they want you to get over it. These motherfuckers want you to get over it. For some of you, their energy is that whoever they're giving their cup or their energy to, they're, they're stabbing them back in their heart as well. <laughs> So don't feel as if, the, if these people have moved on or if you're in this current relationship, but more importantly, if these people did move on, don't think that they're getting some special fucking treatment because this is the same person, okay, that you dealt with. And I'm saying you defended them for breaking your heart. Oh my God, Pisces, why are y'all like that? Oh my gosh, these motherfuckers. And they know your, yeah, they know your heart. Look. We're ending this out with the Ten of Swords, backstab, betrayed a lot on you. And people, look at that deer. People saw it, okay? People saw that energy. That's why they wanted this death. That's why they wanted this relation to be over. But you didn't want to sit there and deal with the aftermath. But I'm seeing for a lot of people, you guys said, fuck it, and you did fucking walk away. And these motherfuckers know they hurt your heart. They know that they can't have this type of, you know, innocent energy with you anymore because you had to have enough courage to walk away for some of you they definitely just left um they left because they knew they couldn't play with you anymore you were the king of um cups giving them your all your love your attention your money and you know you had to say fuck that shit i will never talk to you again you stepped into your king of swords energy and for a pisces to do that you really had to get on they fucking nerves you really had to show your motherfucking ass so i just want to say thank you to the pisces that actually you know was brave enough to say fuck that shit and for a lot of you you are brave enough to say fuck that shit but you are also brave enough to put your cup back out there okay and for certain people you cannot put your cup back out there especially people that you had to defend over and over and over again okay now it is time to move on okay it's time to lead other people especially if you have children they're looking up to you in relationships through how you handle relationships is how they going to handle relationships or it's going to affect them in a specific way so you do have to be mindful of that let's go ahead and get an energy for you what is the upcoming energy of love for or Pisces or imaginative one or Rihanna's okay what is the upcoming energy we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take make an effort to to get yourself out there I know it's coronavirus I know it's a lot of seclusion but it says make an effort look at the picture look at the energy okay these are two children have that type of innocent love and um, attraction about yourself. Because once you start having that attraction, you know, not really wanting to be in a relationship, but just wanting to have that connection with someone, then that connection will be more visible. Okay? So make sure you do that. Also, let's go ahead and get a um, inner overall energy with this person. Oh, you see how that came out? Let's see. Hold on one second. Over your shoulder. So the number 10 can mean anything. The date 10. Okay, one zero. But over your shoulder means let it go. Stop looking back. Stop looking over your shoulder. Let this shit go. 
They were some platypus ass motherfuckers. Okay, you had to leap forward like this frog. You moved on, but you are still this king of cups. You're still a blessing. This is over you now, okay? And if this reading resonates, thank you. This has been another Divine Honesty. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. This has been another Divine Honesty.